Welcome back to Couch Talk, everybody. I just watched the trailer for The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. It's the new Coen Brothers movie, uh, except being in theaters, it's now on Netflix. They're making this movie for Netflix. And again, this is just adding to the list of the A-list directors and the actors they're getting to premiere in their own movies. So for all the YouTubers out there that say that going to Netflix is a death wish, you're kind of making yourself look like an idiot. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure what the hell this movie's about. Uh, the guy playing Buster Scruggs is... I've seen him in movies before, but he's never, like, a leading actor, and I just don't know what his name is, but he's all right. Yeah, he kind of has, like, this funny guy look to him. I can't really explain it, but just... I've never seen him in anything serious, so it's hard for me to take him serious in this, but it doesn't seem like he's playing a serious character. Uh, James Franco's in this movie, and, I mean, with all this scrutiny around him, I don't know how that's going to play out well, but I still like James Franco. I mean, I'm, I'm aware he's done some stupid-ass things, but I like him as an actor. Uh, it doesn't look like he's in the movie a whole lot, or maybe he's just so important that they're saving his character for, like, the big scenes in the movie. Uh, Liam Neeson is also in this. They got a lot of actors in this, but those are, like, really, like the two actors that I know the most, but the real stars of this here are the, you know, the Coen brothers, you know, everything they make is just so well done. Even the late Hail Caesar that came out a couple years ago, uh, everyone didn't like that as much as I did. I really loved that movie, but I think that people that love movies as much as like I do, like people that don't just love the movies, but love how movies are made, kind of got more out of that movie because that whole movie was really a testament to Hollywood. It was like a love letter to Hollywood and how how movies get made. It was a movie about people behind the scenes and the camera and stuff and I really appreciated that and I could see why a lot of people wouldn't like that but I really dug it. They've done musicals. They did like mystery thrillers. They've done comedy horrors almost. And now they're doing comedy western. Uh, they really tackle almost two genres in one movie. Every time they make a movie, it's always like two different things. This is a comedy western. I'm excited to see how that plays out. I wonder how violent it's gonna be because they always go like long periods of time with no violence and then there's just explosive amounts of violence and that works perfectly for the western setting. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Um, I was really excited for the movie Apostle that released last month. Uh, I'm not as excited for this as I was for that. But I think that's just because the trailer's not really doing a good job of letting me know what the hell is going on. Uh, I like when trailers give me a little bit of story. And I mean, it doesn't really give you much of anything. It kind of just gives you little glimpses at each character's performance. But I really want to know what this whole movie's about. I've tried to steer clear of any spoilers that I could find online. But like I said, it's the trailer's job to like kind of relay that message to me. So they just released trailer 2. I don't think there's going to be a trailer 3. The movie's coming out in like two weeks. So I'll be back with my review. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited as I am for this movie? Are you excited just because it's a Coen Brothers movie? Or are you excited that it's just a Western in general? Also, what do you think about Netflix becoming the new big um, movie giant aside from Hollywood? Let's talk about it down below. And as always, I'll catch you next time.